Last week, I used my amazing powers of observation to predict the Dettelbuck hearing would be a comedic goldmine and the career bureaucrat delivered. So we chained my man Tay Tay to his desk and forced him to distill the whole three hour hearing into the finest tincture of snark and ridicule. Stay tuned to our channel for that supercut. Nettlebach, are, are you troubled by the rule? You told him not once, but twice that it was okay. And I'm just asking, does it bother you now that you are doing, you're making the change that's going to impact millions of Americans? We would prioritize enforcement on gang members who are having these How items. How are you? Units enforcement. How are you going to enforce this? Uh, we're going to go to gun ranges. It's afraid. It's afraid. We, we have been. We have been public and in the rulemaking itself have <laughs> detailed that history, and there were inconsistencies. However, there was also a situation, Mr. Chairman, where people were marketing products that had never been presented to ATF saying that they were Was ATF that the only approved. time you told them, the only time you told the American people that it was okay? No, we, we look at... How many people have complied by registering this product? Uh, I am not sure of the exact number. I can check, though, and get back to you. Diplomatic community. It's just been revoked. Do not have to register anything. They can keep the brace. They can keep the business end of the gun. Okay, that, that's a great clarification. So you're not going to do some kind of constructive uh, prosecution where you say, oh, well, you had this and you had that and you intended to connect they're keeping them? The, I mean, they can just keep them separately? Attaching them as we as Keep we them separately. Them, but it's, okay, and, because and, that's and, not clear in your rules. Okay, man, let's do it. What? There's no plan. Does the, gun, to, does to the Gun Control Act or the National Firearms Act clearly and unambiguously prohibit pistol braces? Uh, it, pro, it doesn't prohibit anything. It calls for increased controls on short-barreled rifles. Are you ready, bandit? I was born ready, Lord S. Is uh, convicted as a felon under having this piece of plastic. On, uh, if people are convicted of not following the Gun Control Act, uh, it's a serious felony conviction, ten, but, is but it that ten requires years? intent. Is it, can you just give me the number? Is it 10 years? Uh, I, I, I don't, I believe it's a statutory maximum of 10 years. I have, 10 I'll, years I'll, for owning a piece of plastic? These, do these make the gun fire more rapidly? Uh, the, 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 uh, the stabilizing Do these braces, increase the muzzle velocity? The stabilizing Do these allow the, you're not answering any of the questions. That's stabilizing brace here, here's a pistol without a stabilizing brace. Does the buffer tube, could that be shouldered? You look like shit. Yeah, what happened? <sighs> Just haven't been feeling so good. A minute left, and I'm still trying to get you to answer my question. Hypothetically speaking, if I fail to comply with the ATF's final rule by May 31st now, May 31st, what will the ATF do to me or 40 other million Americans? Uh, with respect to all of the, the authorities that ATF has, uh, we target our investigations Next thing violent, you'll probably be violent, saying that you're going to have to go door to door. My point is this. Local law enforcement pulls over a car. The guy's drunk. All of a sudden, he's doing an inventory. He finds one of these braces in the back of his car, right? And that brace hasn't been registered because the guy had no clue this was even out there. Are you going to put that guy in jail for that brace? What is local law enforcement going to do? So, Hurry up, I got 15 seconds. So with respect to a brace in and of itself, the ATF doesn't deal with the brace. The ATF deals with the weapon as assembled as a whole, determining whether it's a short-barreled rifle. Terrorist! Terrorize this. Does behavior change the interpretation of the Second Amendment? In your opinion as an attorney? Uh, I think the Supreme Court has ruled and, and uh, more than once that the right to keep and bear arms is an individual right uh, okay, uh, so, possessed so, by Americans. So does a brace increase the accuracy of a pistol? My understanding is that Congress determined that the ability to shoulder short-barreled rifles okay. made them, quote, you're, you're, unusually dangerous. You're not? Okay, unusually dangerous because it increases the accuracy. And usually dangerous because okay. Congress. Said so let's it was understand something. I, I appreciate you telling me what our body does, but you 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 have two two types of weapon: a pistol and a rifle. A rifle 
is more accurate than a pistol because it is better braced, correct? Uh, shouldered, I believe that Congress determined that when weapons could be shouldered and also concealed, that they were unusually dangerous. But nowhere in the Constitution does it say that the accuracy of a weapon somehow changes the category for purposes of the Second Amendment. Don't run for office. Mr. Dettelbach, is your priority as ATF director to catch criminals who violate the law or to change the laws to create new criminals? Um, we, we use the laws as Congress has passed them to try to protect people from violent crime and catch people who are violating the law, murderers. How is your regulatory agenda accomplishing that goal? Um, because... When Congress passes a law that Congress determines advances public safety, like the National Firearms Act, the law has to be implemented by somebody. It has Congress didn't pass a law banning bump stocks, did it? Pom Con Just answer my question, yes Congress or no. Did Congress pass a law banning bump stocks, Congress yes or no? Congress delegated to ATF rulemaking authority. Did, did, uh, Congress did actually, act. the court tells you don't have rulemaking authority. That was the Fifth Ladies Circuit decision. You look like shit, man. Here, have another beer. This will make you feel better. Hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Do you believe that the Second Amendment uh, is an important right? I believe all the uh, constitutional rights that we have are important. So you're not one of those people who says we'd be better off without it? Uh, I'm one of those people who says what the law says, what the Constitution says, is what we should do and, and what we have to honor. I understand. Why? Why is it important that we have a Second Amendment? Well, at the, most, at the most basic notion, because I'm an American, because I followed the Constitution and the, the, the founders, uh, or sure, or sure when sure, they I'm enacted the Bill of Rights, I mean, right. I... It, uh, why is it important, the Second Amendment, that particular right, why is it important? I mean, I mean it's, it's part of our founding document. It's in the Constitution of the United States, along with all these other... Uh, rights that are very so you're important. you're glad it's there, the Second Amendment? Sorry? You're glad it's there. You're glad it's part of our Constitution. Uh, it's part of being an American is that that Constitution, when we take an oath in public service, uh, unlike any other country, right, we take an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States. That's what we swear to do. It, sure. so, so that's an important oath, and it, that's a very important document. And I'm glad to hear you say that. We have had amendments that have been repealed. You're not someone who says it'd be better if we just repealed the Second Amendment, right? Uh, I, I have never participated in anything like that. And again, but your it opinion, is my job. Your opinion, it is you, my job. be a good or bad thing? It is, it is my job as ATF director uh, to honor the, 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 the constitutional rights and legal statutes passed by Congress, and I do. And I the number of revoked FFLs are up significantly, correct, in 2022? Uh, I believe that there were 90-some that were uh, as a result of this particular enforcement. Has it reduced issue. crime? Um, uh, <laughs> the, co uh, the congressman was talking about this before. There are lots of causes of gun crime, and it's impossible to say that any one of them is going to be the silver bullet. But that, to me, doesn't mean you don't work on all of them if to try and address the issue. I got an idea, though. I got an idea. Why don't y'all take that badge and shove it up your ass? All up in your ass. The president's son be turned over since he violated Form 4473? I think that's been publicly reported that that is an ongoing investigation. Again, I am not going to comment on any ongoing investigation. The term reliance interest. I'm not playing games here. I'm not trying to either. I'm trying to be respectful. I, I'm in disagreement with your summary of what the... I haven't summarized it yet. I'm asking you if you know the term. Uh, no, about what you said, I'm sorry. About what, is a, what is a reliance interest? You were a federal prosecutor. What's a reliance so, so, Well, we don't use it in federal prosecution, but from being a lawyer, mm -hmm. reliance generally, I think, from my days in contracts and as a, and as a civil litigator... I think I'm entitled... You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Is it true or not? that millions of Americans will be defined as felons after May 31 if they don't follow this new regulation. True or not? I assume that people are going to either detach the weapons, follow the things... If they, they don't the follow the regulation, they'll be a felon, right? You're, you're a former I, federal prosecutor. Yeah, I, and, 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 yeah. I, and, I, and I will tell you that, uh, that federal prosecutions do not happen with respect to law-abiding people who can't have a criminal intent okay, established. Okay. Uh, that that is not a priority. Okay, here's, here's the problem we have. But, here's the problem we have, okay? You ran for Ohio Attorney General in 2018. Your platform included gun control. We know where you stand, right? As, as recently as 10 minutes ago, Ms. Jackson Lee, you couldn't answer or define what an, a so-called assault weapon is. You continued to not be able to do that or refuse to do it. Uh, it's clear that you came to ATF with an agenda 
I believe, to infringe upon good law-abiding Americans' rights. And you're going to turn them into criminals with this regulation, and you seem to have no remorse about it. I'm out of time, and I yield back.